I, I think that uh, the the process of compiling, uh, constructing, understanding the SDGs is uh, inherently political and conflictual. Uh, and that means that it is very selective uh, in terms of uh, the information that is going to be analyzed and processed, but also selective in terms of even the identification of the goals themselves. So I think the IRF is going to constitute a very important independent space mm. where contested and contestable ideas and information and knowledge can actually be presented and packaged for the decision-making process. Mm. I mean, what, what is powerful for me about the IRF is um, it's so unique bringing together uh, independent research institutes from all over the world, yeah. from the north and from the south. Mm. And so really, I think it's able to bring those voices from the Caribbean, from mm. Africa, from, mm. from Asia, mm. um, into the global dialogue. And let us really be learning from each other so that what's put forward really represents a global perspective. Mm. Mm. The collective of the Independent Research Forum has got at one end policy institutions that work at the New York negotiations end. At the other end, there are institutions that are doing practical work on the ground and in between there are research organizations. Now, these dozen odd organizations can actually influence policy processes both among governments at New York and also ultimately when it comes to implementation can influence the implementation process. We are an independent forum, but we are strongly committed with the change men. We put our research uh, to the uh, pollution ma decision makers and to work together the scientists, the decision makers, the stakeholders, United Nations system and we think that as an independent forum we can support that and to help to this commitment. It's an independent research forum. We are very pleased to be part of uh, the process and we are a group. We work together, we look at uh, the key issues and we do our research, we provide our policy input. I think that we can work together to contribute to the process to uh, make a better future. Through the uh, network of the IRF, we have collected 12 uh, research institutes around the world. And uh, we cover such a, a wide range of disciplines and uh, agendas, really, uh, from the social and democracy to environmental issues to economic growth agendas and collectively we can provide a really balanced and comprehensive arena or forum as we call it for knowledge exchange and learning uh, across these issues because it is the totality of these issues that should be the the foundation for for the post 2015 development agenda and the sustainable development goals. I think the IRF can bring to the post-2015 process uh, uh, an independent perspective on the key issues that isn't biased by any particular agendas but has a common vision of what we're looking for. And I think we bring together a, a really diverse mix of both ground level practitioners and research institutes and think tanks who have a, a really broad based perspective on the process and can contribute our shared knowledge. Yeah, um, I think what we can contribute to is, uh, among other things, as have already been mentioned, um, is to identify some of the more contentious issues and try to suggest ways in which those can be constructively approached and perhaps overcome.